Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today's video comes from a quote that I recently read and the quote is a man without a vision is a man without a future and a man without a future will always return to his past. So I bring this up because it's about vision. It's about having something to look forward to, to move forward to. What happens is when we don't have a vision, when we don't have something that we're moving towards, something uh, like a goal, whether it's you know fitness, business, or something that we want in life, we're kind of just spinning in circles and going through the motions of life. Uh, there's not a lot of passion, there's not a lot of fun, uh, there's not a lot of enjoyment because the way we are designed as human beings is we are designed to achieve. We are designed to strive forward and pursue something, create something. And when we don't have this, that's when life gets boring. So if you find yourself in a position right now where you're just kind of going through the monotony of the day, you wake up, you know, you go to work, you get the kids ready, uh, you do what you do at work, you go to, you know, have your lunch and get off and then you come home and, you know, you go through your routine and then on the weekends you might go out and do something fun, you're just doing this thing over and over. If you're enjoying that and that's your life, that's great. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> but if you're somebody who's like waking up tired, sluggish, hating what you do, not happy with your relationships, not happy with your life, this this video is for you. This quote is for you. And what it is, I think, that you need the most is to develop a vision. You need to look forward to something. You need to create something. You need to think about what it is that you want in your life, how you want things to be. How do you want your body to be? How do you want to feel? How do you want your relationships to be? And what is it that you want most in your life? Because when you begin to develop that vision and it becomes so vivid and so powerful, what happens is that energy starts to take hold. And you think about that constantly over and over every day. All of a sudden, instead of the monotony of life, you're starting to get these ideas about things that you want to change. You're starting to have these uh, in moments of inspiration and things that you see you want to have or places you want to go or a business you want to start or a project or a hobby that you want to start pursuing. So if you're lacking passion in your life, if you're lacking uh, a thirst, a hunger for excitement and uh, some enjoyment, some you know gratitude, some different things like this. Again, it starts with the vision because what happens is when we don't have that, just as the quote says, you will return to your past. And there's nothing wrong with your past if it's something that you want to enjoy and you want to relive. But again, if you're someone who's unhappy and you're just kind of sitting around going through the motions, you're depressed, it's because you're moving backwards, you're not moving forward. So you have to think, what is it I want in my life? What do I wanna change? What is something that I truly wanna do and start pursuing that I've been putting off forever that I've wanted to do and I've just been afraid to take action on or I don't think is possible to do? I think that's also a common barrier is that in our hearts we know we wanna change something but we look at our present circumstances and go, oh, fuck, there's no way I could do that because of X, Y, and Z. All you're doing when you do that is you're beginning to put roadblocks in your way. You're beginning to block yourself from your own happiness. The opportunity, if you're in this position where you're kind of unsatisfied with life, is to kind of reevaluate what it is you want and start developing a picture in your mind that becomes so powerful you feel excited about it. It starts to draw the emotion out of you because as they say, uh, emotion is energy in motion. So when you start to have a vision that makes you excited, that makes you joyful, make, puts a smile on your face when you think about it, that energy, that emotion that you start to create, it's energy in motion. You start to move towards it. And instead of starting to put roadblocks up, like I can't because of this and this and this, what you do is your mindset starts to shift and you begin to come up with solutions. You begin to come up with these ideas of, okay, well, you know what? If I started to put a little bit of money away aside and I save this much, at this point in time, well, you know what? I could probably make that happen and you know, invest in this project or this hobby that I've wanted to do or this class or this certification or whatever it is. Or okay, I'm pretty limited on time. Okay, well, how can I make more time in my life? Well, I spend time on social media, I spend time on video games, I spend time going out drinking with friends. There's stuff you're doing in your life that isn't helping you move towards that vision and you're just filling time 
filling space and this is what's creating that monotony that boredom in your life so again the opportunity is to develop the vision and get so connected with it in your heart you start to get excited about it and then begin to break it down step by step and start coming up with solutions start coming up with steps that you can do to start moving forward towards what it is you want because there is nothing worse in life than staying the same going to the same restaurant seeing the same people doing the same thing not growing if you're not growing you're dying because again we're designed to move forward but i also want to say again and reiterate that if you are someone who does the same thing over and over again but you're happy hey more power to you again this is not for you this is for the people you if you're watching this and you think you're you know meant for something more and you're not happy at work your current relationship sucks and no matter how much you try your partner doesn't listen or want to change uh, this is for someone who wants adventure who feels like a deep calling in their heart to do something different to pursue something greater, to create something greater, to start a project. This is for you. So again, just to recap, develop the vision, get super close with it, allow it to become so powerful and so visual, so vivid in your mind and your heart, it begins to create these emotions, these feelings in you. And when it does that, use your mind along with that energy in your heart and the vision to come up with a plan, a pragmatic plan on how to approach moving forward. This is one of the best things that you can do in your life because again, as the quote says, a man without a vision is a man without a future and of course woman and a man without a future will always return to his past. So if you find yourself uh, in the same situations over and over, every time you try to pursue something or move forward, you go back to the same old ways, the same old patterns, that this is what you've got to do. You've got to get the vision. And what I'll, what I'll say is this too. This is not, it's not easy and it does take time. It takes patience. I mean, I'm in the middle of it right now and that's part of why I'm making these videos is I am realistic with how this is going to work. I know that eventually I'll have a couple hundred thousand people, more whatever on YouTube, or maybe not, whatever. I know that I'm also just fulfilling my purpose just by speaking my truth and sharing these videos on YouTube as well. So eventually, obviously that's my vision, that's the goal, public speaking, different opportunities will come as a result of having a following. But if I didn't have this vision, what would I be doing? I don't know, going out, partying every weekend like I used to, smoking, drinking, chasing girls, like all the stuff that a lot of people do just to numb their pain because they haven't landed on their bigger purpose yet. I definitely have. So the again message is to be patient with this and take it step by step but it starts with having a clear vivid picture an idea in your mind of what it is that you want and having it be so real so powerful so connected something that you truly want in your heart that you get excited about it then you can start putting together the practical plan but as you begin to pursue it there's a lot of bumps there's a lot of hurdles some people around you, they might not be supportive, they might condemn you or say it's stupid. Understand that all they're doing is projecting their limitations onto you because what's happening is since you're ready to grow out of your comfort zone, but they don't want to see you grow, you might think they do, but they don't, and a good sign is that they start projecting or trying to tear you down. It's because, understand, what you're doing is you're shining a light on their own limitations and it's making them remember of everything that they're not doing or not pursuing. So instead of supporting you, they're getting triggered by it and they want you to stay in your comfort zone so that they don't have to be reminded and <clears throat> of what they're not doing as you move forward. We're not worried about those people. And if you have to let some people go on the way to pursuing your vision and your dream, in the end, this is your life. And you just have to ask yourself at the end of your life, what do you want to look back on? Do you want to say, man, I did everything that I wanted to do for me, regardless of everybody else? Or do you want to look back and say, damn, I was a prisoner of everyone else's opinions and what they wanted me to do because I was afraid to go alone and pursue what I want. Because a lot of people, they might not support you. So you've got to be ready for that. But again, it doesn't matter because whose vision is this? Whose life is this? This is yours. You're doing this for you because you are responsible for your own happiness. So develop that vision, 
get close with it, start putting together a pragmatic plan and coming up with solutions to the problems that you see will start to present themselves. Don't worry about other people, focus on what it is that you want. Appreciate you watching today. Would love if you like, subscribe, share the video if you thought it was valuable. My goal is to help as many people as possible break out of the matrix, pursue what they want, uh, and share this message with as many people as we can. The way we do that is when you interact, obviously, it helps the YouTube algorithm, but whatever, there's no obligation, no skin off my back if you don't either. Nonetheless, you are awesome. Go get what you want, because you can, and you should. And we'll see you next time. Peace.